So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a tag team match. It was Chad Gable and Otis with Akira Tozawa and Maxine Dupree, Alpha Academy versus Brutus Creed and Julius Creed with Ivy Nile at ringside. The Creed Brothers in a tag team match. So yeah, the Creed Brothers versus Alpha Academy in a tag team match. And this match, as you expected, it was a damn good one. Going back and forth and everything, like we see uh, Chad Gable hitting German suplex on the uh, Brutus at one point. And yeah, like I said, it was just going back and forth between Alpha Academy and the Creed Brothers. Uh, Chad Gable walking in the ankle lock at one point, And then everybody's going crazy, hitting clotheslines on each other, trying to take down Otis and all that stuff. So yeah, it was just going crazy. But yeah, um, we get to the ending of this match where we see Otis and Brutus Creed. Those two guys was the legal guys in this match. And then uh, Brutus Creed was trying to do everything that he can do to take down Otis. Like he kept on hitting clotheslines onto him, but Otis was not going down. So Brutus Creed then climbs up the second turnbuckle and jumps up, trying to hit like a crossbody onto Otis. But Otis catches him and hits a world's strongest slam onto Brutus. He pins him one, two. The pin got broken up at the count of two because Julius Creed was on the top turnbuckle and he jumps off with the 450 splash onto Otis's back breaking up the pin but while he was like still on Otis back and Otis is still on top of uh, Brutus Creed all of a sudden we see Chad Gable climbing the top turnbuckle he jumps off with a moonsault pretty much onto Julius Creed but onto all of them you know taking them all out so yeah that's what happened there and then uh Maxine Dupree pops up on the ring apron after that and that's why Ivy and I will go over there and grab his Maxine Dupree and pulls her off the ring apron both of them starts fussing at each other, and Ivy Nile gets on the ring apron, and then that's when Maxine pulls her off the ring apron as well. They get face to face and everything. Akira Tazawa gets in between them, going like, "Hey, hey, chill out now." And then all of a sudden, he looks at Ivy Nile, and Ivy just grabs Akira and just German suplexes him outside the ring, get taking him out, you know. So yeah, Akira Tazawa got taken out as well, and then that's when Chad Gable got knocked out the ring by Julius Creed. And then uh, Julius eventually got tagged in. Otis didn't know it. And then that's when uh, Otis climb, uh, knocks down Brutus. And he climbs up the second turnbuckle. Uh, about to hit that big splash. Up until uh, Julius Creed goes up underneath him. Picking him up like a pretty much electric chair. And he got him up. And then that's when Brutus climbs up the top turnbuckle. And jumps off with a Brutus ball onto Otis. Taking him out. And they pin him for the third count. So yeah. The Creed Brothers defeated Alpha Academy tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. Great match, though. I'll give it three and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. Very, very good match. If you have yet, go check it out. Great, like, main roster debut for Alpha, uh, for uh, the Creed Brothers. And then after the match ended, Alpha Academy shake their hands. So, yeah, that's what happened. Showing them some respect. But, yeah, great stuff right there. I really liked it. Like I said, give the match what happened after the match. Three and a half stars as well. I'll give it. But then... After all that stuff, we see uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor talking backstage, and then all of a sudden, the New Day comes up, talking about Trick or Treat and stuff, we're dressed up as a Judgment Day, we'll call it the New Judgment Day and all that stuff, and yeah, the Judgment Day was not dealing with the New Day and stuff, and the New Day was like, we got license on, and you just spit the candy back out and all that stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, Kofi Kingston then walks away, and then that's when Grady Ripley and them comes up behind Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods are like, ooh, mommy. And then all of a sudden, uh, Kofi Kingston pulls him away. And then that's when the rest of the Judgment Day was just talking to each other. Damian Bruce was talking about, like, how come we don't even got no leadership, but yet you're still making matches like for me. Like, we should be talking about this like a group. And she says, well, you're the punishment and all that stuff. And, you know, you punish people. And, you know, that, like, Judgment Day don't got leaders, but you punish people and all that. And uh, Damian Bruce is like, yeah, but still, pretty much, I don't care who's champion at Crown Jewel. He says, I'll ca I'll, at the end of the night, I'll still try to cash in on Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, if he's champion, Roman Reigns, or LA Knight, if he's champion. So, yeah, that's what Damian Priest is talking about, and he says that he'll take care of Sami Zayn tonight, and then Cody Rhodes at Crown Jewel. But, yeah, that's what he was saying, and then Judgment Day was getting hyped about it and all. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But yeah, up next we're going to be seeing The Miz hosting Miz TV with a special guest, Gunther, up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then.